want to look at some Go games together? I've got some loaded here. First one sent in by Mark 10. Be fun to look at it together, yes? I think so. Let's do it. So Mark 10 is uh, 6Q and playing white in this game. So our start with dual 4-4 opening. And then the uh, Shamari facing away from Black's formation, which is possible, but not that common. It's more common to see a Chinese variation here. But that's okay. Good. So white blocks off the extension immediately. This extension is very... Sp it's not... Well, let me put it this way. It's not small, but it's probably not the biggest thing on the board. Yep, and I like I like actually how white ignores it. Um, although white has two two choices here, white could play here, um, but white really doesn't want to give black a double wing, so I like this move too. So I think I think so far white is playing really really nice game, really nice opening. Um, do note that white is very thin. Uh, none of the stones actually have a direct relationship with each other. Um, we do have a five space extension here, but that's about it as far as direct relationships. So um, it'll be interesting to see how white defends all these different groups. Uh, black approaches. That's okay. Um, if black doesn't know what to do with the stone, um, black can play this first. And I suspect if white backs off, black will then want to play probably there and then come back and make this type of formation. But let's see what happens in the game. So white does indeed back off. I should go back to the move tool. Oh, black plays a lot. It's a little strange. And again, the um, sequence I was expecting is this. So black gets this corner and this little extension at the top, and then a big formation ac across the bottom. That's what I would expect. But when black plays low, uh, it's just a little strange. It's a little strange. I think white should play here. White does. Good. Um, and black ignores. So at this point, as, as white, I'm actually going to be happy. Yes, nice move, white, um, to take this extension here. Even though there's still a defect here, um, this 5 space extension is kind of thin with M17 here. So I like this move for white. I think white's having a very good game, actually. I don't know if Martin won or lost, so we'll, we'll learn that together. But I like, I like how he's playing the opening very much. Black plays another 3 space low. Strange. Strange. Alright, this is the first move for white I don't like. The reason why I don't like it is because white can still play here. And then once you kick this, which is the game, uh, you've kind of lost the ability to do this easily. So if you are going to play, if you are going to kick this, what you're really saying is that your next move is going to be here. And it is not according to the game tree. You're saying this corner is the biggest thing on the board, which it might well be, but um, it seems like this right hand corner is fairly large right now. Oh, Tanuki to play there. Um, this move is big. This move is big, and it's and it's not quite super urgent, um, but it does give White a lot more comfortable uh, sense of a base because I think what White is thinking, if let's say White plays this, um, when Black comes in here with a move like this, or even this, um, this White group is a little bit cramped, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, Again, I think the better way to have dealt with this is to have probably just invaded there directly. So this move, this move is the first move I don't like. It makes Black's low stone actually look really good um, because you can imagine, let's say, uh, Black's or White's first move was to kick this and then play here. Where where would Black play his next move? Well, it would be there. So when Black plays here first. When you kick it, you're actually making this black stone, this A stone, look really good. You typically see this kick more often when black plays this move. And now this stone is in the wrong place. So that's that's the difference of when we see that kick and when we don't. But this is still a game. I mean, this isn't certainly, this is a very, very small mistake on the, in the grand scheme of things. And this is a good move too. It might be a little too defensive, again, because we still have this invasion. And certainly this move really threatens this invasion, um, but since white has invested multiple stones over here, and presuming that white invades at C, um, black can actually treat the F3 stone at, um, fairly lightly. 
Oh, man. Okay, so black makes does the same thing to white as white did to black, so I guess you're going to be still even. So again, this extension makes this stone look really nice. Um, oh, black didn't play there. What did, did black play low? Ah, okay, so this is the Hane that I was expecting white to take over here. Um, over here, it's not entirely 100% appropriate because white can still come over here um, with one of these moves. And these are all very annoying for black, or even this one as well. Um, it's very dangerous to sort of turtle up like this as black to really just solidify one side um, because there's another side one open. You don't, you haven't, you haven't sealed this in yet. So I can just come over here. And what do you do, Black? If you play this, uh, it sort of feels like White got a free move. You're very submissive, very submissive. Okay, so in the game, White did play one of these. So good. Um, I think, yeah, this, this, in this case, I think I prefer this one because Black already has a stone at K3. A very normal continuation here is for white to kick or for black to kick this, and then uh, you know if black wants to come out or do something or maybe maybe solidify the corner, do something over here. Um, white can make a base around here, but there's already a stone here, so it's a little unfortunate. Black comes on top. Okay, so when black comes on top, what black is really saying is that this group is not very alive, and Black's going to attack it. Feels like that group has a lot of room, though, so it should be exciting. I think White's completely fine. This is probably not a big deal here. Oh, no, Black's changing his mind. Black is letting, letting White take the outside. Here, I see no reason to make this hanging connection. I think this is a better move. This just leaves extra Aji that... I mean, I'm not sure what this move is getting you. It just doesn't do anything with the relationship of the stones that are already there. So I think this is a slightly safer move. If black wants to continue, um, black can with a move like this. This is a nice way to continue because um, white can't descend here. Okay, so another little mistake. All right, black really does want this fight. Yes, and now this having the stone one space over will make all the difference in the world. Yes, because after this, oh my gosh, now we're Tanuki. <laughs> Okay. So first, let's make sure everyone sees this. If white had a stone here, pretend white doesn't have a stone here. Um, uh, black cuts. All right, let's back up, I guess. Let's do this for real. All right, so white plays here. Black tries to cut. White plays here. Uh, white can just play here. And this ladder looks like it's good for black. Um, but white does have this uh, sort of... Uh, um, well, it's just a cool sequence, I guess, to capture. You guys see that little flip it around kind of shape? I don't know what you call it, dumpling shape? Like, black, black actually can't get this stone out, or these two stones out, so there is no cut there. And that's the big reason why we don't play this. There's a cut here now. Um, I was going to show you something else, I too, I thought, but I forgot what it was already. So, okay, so now we're tanukiing. So white has all these defects, is cut, and we're fighting more. It's actually not the worst, worst idea in the world, quite honestly. Um, but I would, I would be a little stressed to play this way. I'd probably look for a move like this. See if black wants to make this exchange. And again, now the M5 stone looks really dumb. And if black really wants to fight here... Uh, we probably have to play a move more like this, something that's a little bit safer. And, you know, maybe maybe we just take the outside and attack these three stones later. Something like this. I'm not really sure. But yeah, this M5 is actually a really big difference from the actual game. Alright, so when we start this fight, yep, Black's going to keep uh, his stone strong. Oh, this feels like a really bad exchange. Do you have a plan for what to do with this? No, you do not. You're just making an exchange. Okay, for these types of peeps where you're peeping at these little pushes, unless you have a plan or a reason, maybe you do have a reason, I just don't know what it is because it's not clear to me, don't do it um, because later on maybe you want to get this move and now this move threatens to link up, right? Um, maybe this move also threatens to make eye shape over here. So 
you're actually giving up a lot. Furthermore, maybe later on, you actually need to get this move and this move to make an eye here. And so you actually need to peep this way. I don't see the reason for this move, um, at least right now. And so this is very helpful to black. Uh, this does not look promising. White is on a whole heap of trouble. Okay. Uh, black is playing really safe. This is actually wrong direction. Um, I think all black needs to really do here is just come out again and be willing to run. Again, black, black always has this move back here um, to prevent white from connecting, number one, and number two, provide the possibility of a black connection. And so I think black should fight this way. White doesn't really have time to spend a move down here to do anything. And as long as you're running, this group is only going to get stronger, which means this stone will get more and more Aji back. And it means because this group is running, this group will become weaker again, which is black's real goal when black cuts here. So this is a little unfortunate uh, that black just decides to take this right now. In this case, it doesn't actually work either. Ooh, that feels slow. Can we play faster? What happens here? A um, little bit of reading required. Looks like this is a double Atari, but it's actually not quite as obvious as you might think. Because I think we can actually just give this up. Um, yeah, we can just connect here. Oh, oh, no, sorry, sorry, that's bad move for black. Black will play here, that's the one. But we can still just play here. Um, is that the one we want? Maybe we actually want to take the Atari this way, force this this way, and take an outside group, and then try to find time to come back and play M2. That seems like a reasonable solution. Um, we're basically just trying to give up these two stones. You can't, I don't think you can hang on to everything. I don't think there's any way... Um, yeah, this is too weak. If we, I guess we always could give up that stone and try to live on either side, but that seems like that's not very good. Nope. Uh, but this move feels real slow. Yep, because black is going to play there. And we're going to remain split. Huh. I have questions about this move. Does this actually do anything? It seems like a really bad exchange right now. Black just plays here. What does white do? Whatever it is is gonna end in gote. If you do this, you have to you you actually just die. I can't do that way. <laughs> and if you do this way, black gets this free Atari. This was a terrible move, Martin. Um, if you're going to cut, the only move that I think will work is this one. At least work cleanly. I mean, it's not even really that clean either. Oh, it's not clean at all. Sorry, sorry. I misread this. This is not clean at all. This just works. I see. So you, you read this one, saw this clamp, because white can't descend because of this move. Um, though, uh, you probably didn't read this move. So yeah. And if you're saying, hey, you can cut him, uh, that way, that's an incorrect statement. <laughs> oh, so black descended. Strange. Well, that was nice of black. Oh, well, that's very nice of black. Um, black is just trying to, for some reason, like, black isn't trying to attack you. Like, black should just be running out here. Black is playing much too nice, right? Let's say you play here, you play anything. Black should just be getting out and keeping up the pressure on this group. So I don't really understand why Black is just so intent on trying to live small. Oops, there we go. Yes, so you get out first. That's a very big difference. Uh, there are some shape issues in here, but they're not... Like, you don't really have eyes, but you're not in trouble yet. You're not surrounded. Hmm. 
this might involve some reading. Is there anything like this? No. Doesn't look like it works. Um, oh, as soon as you do that, there's a capture there. So actually, black can't. Black has a shape problem too. It's taking away that liberty. Okay, I guess this is fine. This is the type of situation where I actually look for a faster move. Um, though this might be asking for a lot of trouble and needing to do a lot of reading to prepare it. So this is okay. Oh, that's not game. Oh, very slack move. Very slack. Definitely feels like wrong direction. Um, what would be a better move? Black shape is kind of dumb, though. So I, th I think this is good enough, this or this. Again, black, black would really like to find um, time to improve his shape and connection somehow so he can come back in and play this move. And this move is just killer. This move just makes white's life very difficult. Very, very difficult. So that's slack. Uh, we're doing this the very crude way, eh? Uh, I think, I'm not sure it's absolutely necessary because you're thinking that, oh, I see, you want, to, you want to make sure black responds here so you can take these Ataris, something like this, and this way you can actually seal in. Okay, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. If you don't make that exchange and you make this now, is white, are you in any danger of white playing here? Or sorry, black playing here or here? Eh, there is this thing. All right, I'll, I, I mean, it's okay, it's okay. This is very crude though. Oh, yeah, so, you, so if black's gonna respond there, well then I don't know which, if this, if this was, well, I think you're fine. <laughs> a short answer, I think that's a good, a good result for you. Oh, does black have a plan? No, black's plan is bad. Black's plan is to let you live comfortably and still surround this thing. Ooh, that feels like terrible timing. Feels like you should play this. Uh, then this turn is very big because uh, this group is not alive yet. And you still have an attachment, an invasion. This is move is humongous uh, in terms of its urgency. And then you can either play move over here to like sort of force this thing to live small, or you can even just go all out and attack it and have two black weak groups running around. Both of which plans I like a lot. Crosscut. <laughs> Not an expected move. Okay. Um, there are other variations here, but I think I think this one is good enough for white. I don't really have to consider the others. Yeah, and there's still actually a little bit of an issue in there, but not too bad. Oh my gosh, Black's gonna try to run this out. Man, I would have loved to have that exchange right now. I think you can probably still sneak it in, but this exchange would be very helpful already if this was already made. Because then you can do things like this, and these stones have very few places to go. Okay, all right, this is one of those situations where once black, once you've made this decision and black is extended, you're actually not really losing, well actually you are, sorry, this is wrong situation. <laughs> this You've played the right move, never mind. Often this Atari is an Atari you actually want to take in this situation, but it does short you a little bit here, so I, under, I understand now. Oh, but isn't this better? Isn't that more threatening? Man, timing. We needed to take this as soon as you had, instead of instead of coming here, take this right away. Such a useful stone right now. Like this is still good, but it's not nearly as threatening. Well, I mean, it's still as threatening, but it's not as directed. Ooh, I think 
or everyone's strong enough such that we can try leaning on this first and then Hane, we really want a Hane. Just pulling back here feels really slow and not good. Has a really bad feeling, leaves me a sour taste. The nice thing about doing this is I think you're thinking of if black gets a response, you can cut this way. I believe that to be your plan. But I don't think black's gonna respond over there. Oh. Okay. After this move though, we can also take that. We kinda wanna have that Atari taken. Okay, so that's how black is preventing this. Um, another move we really want to have is something like this in this case, but hard to find time. Okay, what are we going to do here? The problem with this move, well, we're almost at the point where we can actually consider giving these four stones up if it means we can come back here and kill this. We look just about strong enough to be able to do that. The only thing that's weak is this group for us, and potentially this cut, which we can solve pretty instantaneously with an Atari. Um, there is the possibility... Actually, we do need to be extra strong because Black does have Sente moves here. All right, let's see what Black does. Black jumps out. Oh, we're going to insist on saving that now. I, I don't think we need to. I think, uh, let's see, if we go here, that's not good enough. Black will just come out. Can we go here? And then here? If black, black won't honey, I don't think, because this is not, um, well, black can still do that. And then we need to play this and try to kill, win the capturing race. This is a big turning point in the game, though. Like, I think once once Black gave us all these moves, we actually didn't really need to care about these stones for a while. We could actually now have the time to come back and play H1. And it seems like we're trying to save everything, and that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, because this now... We've given Black two extra free moves here. So this corner is really weak. This group has no eyes. This group isn't completely alive yet. And, uh... Yeah. With this, oh, we're going to cut through. Does this work? Oh, gosh. So everybody's kind of safe, except we still don't really have two clear eyes yet. Now we're getting surrounded. Um, you're going to try to kill, wow, this whole thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no! <laughs> no, this is fine, because you have this move, right? You can always back out. You need to play over here. Um, this group can die. I don't think you have very many choices. Something. I'm not even sure if this actually lives. If you read all this out and said, oh, this group's dead, I'm going to come play over here, you did beautifully, but I don't think that's the case. I'm so scared. Do you guys see this? This is crazy. This game's crazy. Look, we have this group, not alive. This group, not quite connected and alive. This group, not quite. It's almost like it's the B group, but it's not quite because it has a shape problem. So that's not alive. This group has a cut right now, not alive. Uh, this group has an Atari, not alive. So how many not alive groups is that? Oh, plus we have this. If these, if this gets cut, we have the state of these three and possibly these two stones. And then actually, without this move, the corner's not alive. So <laughs> this got way out of hand. It's got way out of hand, like many, many moves ago. I just really wanted to go back, like, 50 moves, take this peep, uh, continue attacking this so we just build the center, and then we can come and harass these other things. So, man, we really threw the game into chaos. I, what does that move do? What the hell? I don't know. This is terrible. Don't do that. Ever. That's just, like... That's... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Right. Never mind. I also forgot about... Did I mention that group's not alive? <laughs> and it's after this move, that actually upsets that base. It's chaos. It's crazy. I see. Oh, I think white can Tanuki here, though. Unless white thinks... It's still not Sente. It's tough, though. Because black has moves in here. 
like here, here, and here, these defects are all useful because of that. <laughs> White, black, neither connect, push through, cut these, or cut these two stones off. I don't know. It doesn't feel like you should be responding over here, though. Uh, okay, can we please Tanuki? Okay, how about now? Do you see some? Do you see a way to like prevent two eyes from here? Okay, we could have Tanukied here though. Can we please play this move? It would make me feel very good to play this move, or actually even better would be this move. This is our this is our big trouble group. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, we got one of the moves. We got one of the moves. This is good. This is good. It's not a real co. Thank you. Okay. This is exciting now. Yes, the cut. The connection. The connection will make that move sente. Do we take it? We don't take it. Wait, why? What? Why don't we take this first? Oh, that's a bad exchange, I guess. Never mind. Bad exchange. All right, so you're trying to live here. Instead of living, though, I think we need to push out. We need to continue this fight somehow. There's more. This fight continues. Not time to make eyes yet. Good. Um, is there a difference between this and this? Doesn't look like much of one, so I guess it's okay. Okay, good. Uh-oh. We're exchange? It's exchange. Do we have to exchange? Oh. Why don't we just take the stone? I don't understand. Um, okay, fine. I guess it's the same, but I was, I was just confused, like why wouldn't you threaten to connect to everything and then force black to cut you and then you have the next move. If you do it this way, um, no, I guess you still have next move. Okay, never mind. Ooh, is this a thing? Um, black thinks it's a thing. Okay. I still like the idea of pushing here a long time ago. You guys remember that idea? I thought it was a brilliant idea. Let's push. Because there is the shape issue. Ooh, this... Is that get, I guess that does... Still, even if we play this A... Um, this black cut is still a big problem, right? Like, big problem? Black is not finding it? Ooh. Okay, okay, we're just having a capturing race now. Who wins this race? All right, now the race is officially started. Um, oh, this isn't a real race, is it? I don't think black can, I don't think black has enough liberties, right? Because if, if black connects there, white connects there. So actually it looks like white wins that. What did black do? Oh. Yeah, instead of peeping, what if black plays here right now? That's my question. If you cut, then what? This is the big if. This is the big what. How do you save these two stones? Only move is here, right? To, that, would, that would work. But it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. All right, black missed that, honey. That was black's chance to not die and kill you. So, which means I think you got away with murder. Murder. So, good read on your part. Um, black should still be able to... Uh, does black get anything? Well, I don't care about that stuff. That was an interesting bang. Oh, that's the end of the game. Yeah, white plus resign. Yep. Uh, so, you got away with murder in the end. Um, but overall, this is a really nice game. Your 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 nose for chaos was a little too high, I think. I don't think you needed it to be quite such a big thing. I really liked your opening. I thought you played very calm, etc. 
hooks up to there. That was my first. <sighs> uh, and that's fine. Again, I'm not. Maybe. I think your move's fine. Um, what are whites, what are blacks' responses here? Probably push out once. Like, that's probably, like, the best kind of thing black can do, maybe. If not, it's probably better just for black to do this. Um, actually, that's probably a bad exchange. Is this a bad exchange? Uh, this is a very common exchange. Eh. I don't know. I don't know when you make that. In this case, but here you got a good result here, except you made the bad shape. Tiger's mouth. Tiger mouths are bad. I know we teach like Q players and beginners. Oh, make a tiger's mouth. It'll solve solve all your shape problems. But no, it actually often, more often than not, is worse than just connecting. That's what being a strong go player is all about: knowing when to make the tiger's mouth, knowing when to connect. Uh, we have any other choices. What about this move? This move's crazy. Again, I'm trying to actually just sacrifice this and get this entire outside. That's my real goal. This doesn't look like it works, though, at all. Like, that was a terrible idea. Kind of bad. So, probably have to play this one. And I think this is mostly a one-way street kind of thing. Um, doo -doo -doo. I think this Atari is actually important, unfortunately. So you really can't hang on to everything. But it does get everything in the middle basically safe for you. Later, black can do this. Um, but you're fine with this, right? And just connect. <laughs> like, black got, like, four points here. Well, maybe six. But either way, you're safe in the middle. And that's all we really wanted. So, yep, that this connection was weird. We did that. That was weird. This was kind of weird. <laughs> By weird, I just mean things that I wouldn't expect to see in a game that I was playing. But then again, my opponents never cease to surprise me. They're really good at that. When Black made this weak group here, <clears throat> I was kind of shocked, actually. Yeah, but I really, I really wanted you to settle some things easily. Like, you, you can just sort of push this game into the state where Black doesn't have enough, point, doesn't have enough points to win. And we should take our peep. We should probably take this turn. If you're not going to take the turn, definitely take the peep. Those will both be useful later. You have to choose which one you want. Um, and then this, I feel like we can actually just give up. Once black makes this overplay, it's sort of like, well, maybe just take this Atari and then Atari here. And it's really hard for black to live. Um, if black cuts this way, you just play there. If black plays that, you just play there. I don't see like I think you just kill this whole quarter of the board. Game over. Even if black kills this, you'd love for black to kill that, right? That gives you time to play that move. Um, maybe... Um, well, there's still Aji here. How many points can black actually make here? Not that many, really. Because you still have these pushes. What does score estimator think here? Score estimator thinks those are alive. So that's, we gotta fix that. So here, let's just pretend we did that. Alright. Um, it says white by 67. That's a little optimistic. Oh, that's very optimistic because it doesn't know these are dead. The SE in this game is so bad. Or the server. Alright, so that's more reasonable. 35. Yeah, you had a nice, you had a nice win here. Like, just do this. But anyway, regardless, uh, nice win, nice game. I know you're playing against a slightly weaker opponent, but still, nice game, Martin. It's nice to check in and see you doing well. All right, I'm gonna take a little break, and I'll be back. We'll do another game. Give me one second. All right, so we're back. I noticed I was also like really slouching in the camera. So I tried to fix it. We'll see if it stays up or not. It does sort of slide around a little bit, which is too bad. It doesn't quite stay. Um, I did actually order, I'll show you guys right now. 
uh, some real slate and shell go stones. Uh, this is actually just a little sample pack. I'm I'm trying to find like a really nice set to buy for purchase, and uh, these are nice. They're not they're not quite as serrated as I would like, so you don't quite see the shell markings as much. Um, you really can't see them. I I don't think at all in the camera, but I will hold them up nonetheless. So it's real shell and a uh, real slate, and you know they're they're quite nice. These are size 32, which I think is 8.8 .8 millimeters thick. Um, which is not the thickest. Um, I'm so I'm starting to come around and think that I might be a size 34 kind of guy. Well, that does add a lot of money to the price. So anyway, for those of you interested, I'm actually in the market shopping around for a really nice set of slate and shell go stones. And because uh, I've never actually had any, all my stones have been glass. So that's a little sample pack I got. I forgot totally forgot the website. Um, if you give me one second. Okay, I'm back. These are from Go Game Guru. Uh, which I actually don't know where they're based out of. I should have researched this. Oh, they gave me, looks like California. Go Game Guru out of California. So check them out. Uh, you can order just, you know, for a few bucks, a little sample of real slate and shell stones. Even if, even if you don't want to for, don't want to buy or can't afford a full set, um, it's kind of a cool thing just to have just a couple of them. So check out their website, Go Game Guru. There you go, free advertising, Go Game Guru. I liked, I liked your little sample here enough to, to mention it. Okay, uh, let's do another game, shall we? Uh, this one is sent in by Andrew, and I actually don't know the rank, so maybe we'll try to figure that out as the game goes along. I think he told me his rank, and then I forgot. Let's see, is there any info? Game info? No. All right, and actually, hold on, I'll see if I can figure it out. All right, let's try this one more time. Uh, I He actually, I had realized he sent me two files and I was looking at the wrong one, but this one still doesn't have information in it. So, sorry, Andrew, I don't know how good you are and which color you're playing, so we'll take a look at both. I'll be fine. Uh, so, okay, this is a little aggressive for black, but it's playable. Again, normally we see a move here or here, most normal, but it's possible. Yep, putting a lot of pressure on this white corner for some reason, not sure why. And white chooses to completely ignore. This seems strange. Seems like white should play here, or here would be uh, prudent. Boy, it's going to go there. Okay, so this Joseki should end in sente for white, which it does not. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is settled. White can come back and now go do other white things. Um, yeah, what is this? I don't know what this is. Does black respond? Black does not respond. Good for you, black. Although, I feel like black should now probably just play here. Or, if you want to be very cautious, you can even just play here. Something like this. Uh, you even have time to play here, and then make another shape. This isn't really that good of a shape for you. White really should defend. I'm just showing you a possibility as far as shapes that black can make. Well, that's possible. Um, black could just play here. Yeah, I just like that move though. This move feels nice. Um, I'm sorry, this way first. If black, if uh, white insists on blocking here, there is this cut, which is actually pretty nasty because of these supporting stones. Um, really difficult for this white group here and this white group here to both live. So something like that. But, okay, black played there. Did black, white play there? No, he did not. White played there. This game is crazy! Alright, we're playing Crazy Go. Cool. Um, plus, which explains that move. That's a crazy move. Don't Totally unnecessary. Um, again, completely ignoring the pressure that's on the white corner. And this shape is weird. Let's play. Black goes there. That's a reasonable move. All right, I think an even more reasonable move, though, would actually do this. <laughs> or even this. Both of those are even more reasonable. But this is perfectly peaceful reasonable. So we like that. Okay, so that's Joseki. Not a big move. Nope, 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 nope. Don't do that. Again, here or here. If you're, if you're going to do this, do this one first. Because, quite honestly, you don't really care if white gets this. This is all low. 
and uh, you're much more ha you're happy to upset these two stones. And while black, or rather, sorry, white, does have uh, precautions against it, or not precautions, that's not the right word, um, ways to sort of deal with it, they're not very good for him, right? You're settled, white's not. Unless, of course, you're white, and I'm sorry. Uh, what? No, this, is, this would actually be a really good time to do this and upset the black stones and make yourself really solid. This would be really good timing. Um, the only other really big area of the board, I guess, I guess this is a big area and this area is a big area. Although, these two stones are weak too. I don't know, there's a lot of good stuff on this board. There's a lot of moves I want to make. But this one, I, this, this is just not one of them. <laughs> you know, again, take the corner, that way you can just invade directly. If you want to shoulder hit something, for the love of God, shoulder hit this. If you really must shoulder hit something. Um, or, actually, you could even shoulder hit this. And that'd be completely acceptable as well. And that way then you can come back and attack these two stones. White place here. Something like this. And then like this. Ta-da! You're attacking two stones. Any of that's possible. This, I don't know what you're doing. Like, this is just asking for trouble. This is like you, like, walking up to your friend and be like, doink, just poking him for no reason. Uh, yes, so we are going to continue to get poked back. <laughs> oh, now we're going to try to cut. Is this a good idea? Does this stone make this cut work? No. It totally doesn't, because black just lets you connect that. That's not, I think this, no, I guess you have to play this if you don't want yourself to be cut. Um, yeah, this is okay. This looks okay. Oh, no, it's not. Totally not okay. White just plays here, right? Doink. Black, you died. You dummy. So did black die? Black should die. This is an overplay. Just play there. And if white really wants to connect, um, he's going to have a heart, he's going to realize he can't. <laughs> real fast. So, this move's good, this move's bad. Alright, white just plays there and there's basically little to nothing black can do about it. Alright, it's just dead. Oh, this does, this actually, this way does make it more interesting. This way is the more interesting way. Hmm, that lived. Why did that live? What did I miss? <laughs> if white plays this way first and then cuts hmm if we just take this can we do this not really oh I guess we can okay that kind of worked alright there's a sequence in there some, somewhere uh, what's the game white extends this way because you know it's a crazy game uh, Jeff, I'm not sure if you're white, but if you are, you just gotta cut this off, I think. Even even if this doesn't quite work, you're gonna get good shape out of it. It's always worth it to cut it, in this case. Um, but certainly this move was, there, you have no business making this move. And if you're black, well, then you got away with murder here. Um... I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, I've already sort of showed you that there's a shape defect over here, so I kind of I kind of want to play something like this. So my brain thinking is a little polluted. Um, we're just trying to live now, I see. Oh my gosh, so white gets out, but then these three die. This is the way how you get them. Oh, we're just going to actually have a... We're not going to get out. We have decided instead we just kind of want to die. Um, I think you have to play here if you want to attempt to live, right? Mm, okay, if we don't play there... What did white do instead? White played there, but I think black can just play there. 
And now no matter what, you can't make two eyes? Is that a true statement? Oh, it's not a true statement, because there's this. Okay, it's still a co. Okay, sure, crazy game. Uh, trying to make a base. This is actually the first reasonable move we've seen in a while, which is cool. But I don't feel like this group is in that big of trouble yet, as long as these three stones are weak. So to me, it just feels like we should just settle this here. Um, because this, these three stones aren't dead yet. And that kind of worries me, because if these three stones ever get more liberties or shape or something, they can actually threaten to, to uh, attack this whole stick here. This game is crazy. Oops, wrong move. Uh, okay, so white's going to let you have the entire corner and instead come back and attack this. And also helps this stone. Um, a little slow. A little slow. We know, we know, because white didn't respond over here, the bottom part of this should be completely fine. So, I still want to play this. This still puts so much pressure on these stones. I don't think white really has any serious possibility of cutting yet. Um, it feels like you have too many things, ways to mess with them. Like, even if you just do this, let's say this is as severe as it goes, you're still out and you're still attacking, right? Like, white can eat one stone, but that does nothing. If white pushes you this way, you're still attacking. I guess these two stones are getting injured, but... Again, I just assumed you were black there for that sequence, so don't mind me if you're not. Uh, I'm not convinced this Hane is actually any better than that. This feels just good enough. Little shape thing. Okay, so we're going to surround. That's fine. And now we're playing there. Hmm. I still feel like that's a good move. Call me crazy. Okay, but we're going to do this first. Oh, the fun way. Uh, I, and this is the kind of game where I think you can just play this immediately. There's there's almost virtually no chance of white seriously playing you for this co. Oh no, I'm sorry, white actually has to, does white have to play you for this co? Do you have the ladder? <laughs> no, white has the ladder. But if you do this, what sort of Aji do we get? Actually, like this, this just doesn't quite work. Okay, so white doesn't have to play Ko, which means we could play this, which means we got this move in for free. Seems like we should do it. Minor detail. Yep. Ooh, it's better to just take this here. Because later on, it even, so you, you're thinking, well, hey, if I connect here, then white still has to play move here, and then it's my move again. And that's true, but your shape is now bad. Uh, and so later on, let's play a move here. White has moves here, or or whoops, or here, or here, or even just the really crude one here uh, to mess with you. If you just take the stone, here's what we're comparing it to. White actually still isn't connected. So if white plays away again, I'll say white plays away, not again, but just white plays away. Instead of you pushing through this way you actually can start this co, which is pretty cool. And if white connects, you have this. So, you know, this is a free co for you later, if you just take. And what, meanwhile, white doesn't have the same um, opportunities to take advantage of you. So white still really actually feels like white should connect to prevent this co. Anyway, small point. Oh, that's not a game. That's the game move. Oh, weird. White did not want you to come on top of here and threaten to capture that stone for some reason. It doesn't really matter if white plays this way 
or it connects this way. Either way, you're going to seal white in. Um, okay, neat. That looks strange to me, though. Okay, finally, a move in the relevant area of the board I've been sort of waiting for. Oh, is that the game? You actually white, white, black did come on top. Cool. All right, uh, but a relevant move. Now, unfortunately for white, I think white should have just played there. White is too weak to really fight, but maybe, you know, there's a chance. And white might also be thinking, well, this area of the board is actually getting out of hand. Black already has this cache, and white's points are only like, let's see, these seven, maybe this, these seven, let's say that's about 15. Oh, maybe another 10. So 25, 2, 27, plus another almost 10. Yeah, we'll give him 10. So what is that? <clears throat> like 40 points plus Comey-ish? And uh, if black kills this group, that's way more than 40. So maybe white just doesn't want to, you know, die peacefully? I don't know. Or white recognizes that he's behind. Does this even work? This move seems... Uh, this move seems really bad, or at least unnecessary, at the very least unnecessary before we have at least one other stone. Um, but white's move kind of seems bad too. So I'm confused as to who's playing the worst move right now. If we just look at this, like this would be sort of the standard line. Maybe black's thinking, hey, I can cut here, and that's kind of cool. But no, you can't, because this. There is no cut there. So if you cut, you'd have to cut this way. And that's a, that's also kind of dead-ish. Or at least maybe not dead-ish, but there's this problem of black having to watch after these three stones now. And now white might actually be able to... Remember that attack I said about the stick? <clears throat> that might actually be able to happen. Anyway, when white plays here... In the game, let's see, yeah, black cut through, um, which seems like that's kind of a bad idea, but it doesn't quite, I don't, I don't see it quite working for white. Am I wrong? Because black's going to get one out, one out one way or the other. So this is a bad idea for white. Is there any other way? Oh, nope, same thing. Transcribes, or transposes, I guess black can do that, but that's, whoops. Just giving up. So if we play here, it's the same thing. White, black's going to get out one way or the other. White will get some sort of shape out of it. So this throw in. Well, first of all, this move is probably wrong. You can. You pro, if you're going to run this out, you have to run it out this way. If you're not going to run out and play loosely, you probably have to play this way. Um, but the better, better than either of those is probably just to recognize that you actually probably can't run that out. So just play here and force black to play some really horrific looking moves while you get all of this free stuff. Maybe black even tempts there, but although safer move would be just be there. And then maybe you take this shoulder hit and maybe this shoulder hit and then seal in and you make your own 40 points. Voila. I don't know. That's my plan. This plan looks very thin for white. Oh, that's not game. Game is here. Okay. Whoops, that's not game for white. This is game for... Oh, gosh. We're going to save these stones, not these stones. Which is actually doable only because the stick is weak. Oh, now we're going to save these. Okay, we're going to save everything. I love it when Go players save everything. Not, not really. That was a joke. Okay. <sighs> Why do we need this move? Now we're just starting... We're not even starting a co. Why aren't we taking starting the co? This seems like a waste of a co threat. Quite honestly, just start the co right now. This is like this is like a game ending co threat for whoever wins. Or go, go uh, game ending co fight. Yeah, see that was a co threat essentially is what white wasted right there. Because now we're gonna start this co anyway. Uh, was that sente? That surely doesn't look like sente unless you think this group is dead after white plays this move. Which, to my eye, it doesn't look that very dead. It doesn't look dead at all, in fact. It has way too many ways to live. So, 
Does white need to move here? I didn't really read any of this out, but I have a hard time believing that white needs to move there in order to live. It looks like white can make an eye here and two eyes there. I don't see a problem. Not a co-threat. Not a co-threat. And this co is humongous. So, like, instead of filling, white should have just played there. Or at the very least, played there and made this co bigger. Uh -huh. And actually, it might not even be bigger because of uh, this Aji. Have to probably extend it. Actually, when do we take this co? <laughs> Because actually after this, if we take this co, we still get another free move. We get another free move. And then probably just there. Might be Seki. Actually, Seki's not good enough. Alright, we should just take the co. <laughs> Bad move. Uh, white, that's not big enough. Uh, that's nice. Is it good enough? Doesn't look like quite like black has enough liberties to actually fight here now, though, because black will play here. Um, okay. Black thinks we're still in a co, which I don't think we are, right? Doesn't black just play here? And white. Oh, I guess we we're we're still in a co because of this double Atari thing. There is a little bit of business. That needs to be taken care of. Yeah. This group is still too weak. Man, I wanted to extend there so long ago. And just make that one stone stronger. Okay, white makes the... Wait, that doesn't work at all. This was terrible. <laughs> yeah. There is no co-threat. There. Nope, not a move. You die. Dead. Okay, black is gonna go that way. That leaves some Aji. Black's now going to finally sort of live over here. Um, although that I guess mm -mm -mm -mm, that is alive. Okay, black finally lived, prevented the co there. What do we have for the score? Let's look at the score. Uh, let's assume white hasn't really gained anything. In fact, white's lost a bunch of points, and black's now taken this point. So these five stones now look pretty dead. If white... It's basically if white makes these live, white's still in the game, sort of. Um, I kind of suspect, though, that even if white makes them live, black will have gained enough points uh, either around here, over here, plus this capture to basically win the game. White would have to make it live pretty large. That's not the usual type of living move. Um... Neither is that, though. I This is really hard to make live. Usually when you have to make a group live like this, you're trying to find weaknesses to exploit. And the problem is there are very, very few of those, especially after this move. I don't see it. It's probably possible. I'm very pessimistic when it comes to stuff like this in my own games. Let's see what white tries. Black just wants it to the tail. Uh, actually, white's looking pretty good now, because black went after this tail thing. White looks like he has one eye for sure. Oh, just about two eyes. Um, ooh. Not quite there yet, but really close. Um, black. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Nope, still there, there. We can pop that one out. Probably there. That only falsifies one. That's a lie. Oh, nope, that's not a life. Can't quite get both of these, it looks like, so we'd have to find something else weak. Um, we, I really want to have time for white to cut here, connect, and then maybe get another Hane here, something. I'm still really skeptical, but black just tanukied, which is weird. I don't even know what's going on over here. Here, let's just, I'm just going to fast forward at this point. Let's see what happens. 
We don't know. White played a move. It looks... It looks alive now, right? Black would need this move. Um, and now... I guess black makes that shape, which is a stupid looking shape, but works for life. So black's alive. I don't know the result of the game. And here, if I do a quick count, let's do a quick count. Five, seven, how many captures? Eleven. So black has seven more captures, so we'll give black seven more points when we're done here. Five, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is all dead. Right, this is just entire thing is dead. Never mind. There's no reason to count. White lived here, but this is all dead. I should have paid more attention to that, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, Oh, this is uh, Andrew. Andrew sent this in, right? That's who sent this in. I have no idea if you're white or black, but man, that was a crazy game. I think I don't know if you intended for that to be this crazy. I really don't remember what pretense you sent me this game under. Usually, people tell me like, "I want to look at this game because X, Y, or Z," and I go, "Sure, great," and then I completely forget the reason why they want me to look at it. I assume it was because it was crazy. This move, bad move. This move was bad. Here, let's just mark some bad moves on the board here. Bad, bad, uh, dubious, <laughs> possible, but probably shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, okay, and this was crazy. Okay, so I'm not sure if that was educational or not, but it was crazy. I hope it was entertaining. Uh, yeah, I can't look away. I just can't look away. Yeah, this thing just sat there forever. Look at this, this, and this. Whoops. So weak, all of them. Although, because of these stones, and these stones, and these stones, it looks like white is a lot weaker than black. But that doesn't mean white should get some sort of compensation for it. White will just give up something and get something else somewhere else, which never really happened in this game. So anyway, thank you for sending those games, guys. Uh, I'm, yeah. I do sort of give my Patreon backers sort of priority if they want to send me a game. Um, and the people who do pledge at a, a slightly higher level, uh, you know, I encourage, I, I actually message them asking them for games from period, you know, from time to time. So if you want to be one of those cool people, you should check out Patreon. And, but even if you don't, you know, just thanks for watching. I'm glad that there's such a great Go community on the internet and you guys are all part of it. So happy going. Um, play some crazy games, I guess.